What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video for you guys. This time I'm going to be filming in the garage. I've done a few of these in the past. I haven't done them in a while because you guys don't like these videos as much. You guys want me to ride and I get it. I want to ride too. But I am feeling a little bit sick to be honest. I'm very like tired, achy, all that stuff. And it's probably the weather change because you know it was hot and all of a sudden it's cold and I'm riding in the rain and everything. It's literally like hard to talk right now. But I wanted to keep the videos going for you guys. I want to stay consistent as I try to be five times a week, you know. Uh, so decided to make a video in the garage with the bikes, the little startups, talk about all the parts that I got for the V4R and uh, yeah, just build plans and stuff like that. It's been hooked up on a battery tender, so it should start just fine. Uh, but yeah, we're going to start it, see how it sounds, and then we're going to move on to the H2. And finally, we're gonna talk about the V4R and all the parts I have coming for it. I literally have probably over 10 parts coming for it. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. suffocating right now from the fumes the garage is closed and this is definitely not healthy but yeah i'm probably gonna let open the garage let the some fresh air in before i do that with the h2 because the h2 is even worse i can't even go back there from all the fumes like my eyes and i already don't feel good so yeah let's not make it worse <laughs> the r1m has like the loudest pop when you start it it just like explodes and then it kind of like idles down it's very loud and that's pretty much why I wanted that exhaust so bad because it looks good with the bike in my opinion. As you guys can see, it like matches the aggressive lines and all that stuff, but also it's extremely loud and I like loud exhaust. What can I do? Time for the H2.
before I get going with this video, there's literally like 80% of you guys that are not subscribed to the channel. It would mean a lot to me if you guys could subscribe. I've been grinding for the past like half a year on this channel. That's kind of when the channel started going and it kind of didn't want to stop. I wanted to keep the momentum going. My goal was to post five videos every single week until the end of the year. We're getting so close. So far I've made it five videos a week. And uh, even though when I'm sick, you know, I'm trying to make the content for you guys. And I, this video might be boring to some, but honestly, I'm kind of excited for it because I'm excited about all the parts. I only mentioned it in the last two videos, talking about all the parts I'm getting on, on this bike. But I don't think you guys, like I didn't mention even like maybe just half of the parts or something like that. So now we're going to talk about pretty much every single thing that I ordered for this bike and what I'm going to order soon hopefully we're gonna start with the most obvious the exhaust this thing is gonna be gone we're gonna be getting a new exhaust that is like extremely loud and you guys are gonna maybe love it maybe hate it it's it's not like the toast on the r1m it's actually like a good quality exhaust uh but it's not the best for performance you know i had the acro on the full system acro on my last v4 and obviously that makes the best power and that's the exhaust ideally that I should put on a V4R, but I didn't like the sound. The exhaust, yeah, I, I get it. It's best for power, all that stuff, but it's not me. And these bikes are mine, so I like them to be how I like them to be, you know? So it's going to be a very obnoxious, loud exhaust, and I think it's going to go really nicely with this bike. So I'm very excited for that. Hopefully it gets delivered very soon. Also, I got a clutch cover. Technically, it's not a clear clutch because once this is open, it's exposed. The V4R has a dry clutch, which is why it kind of has that like rattling sound. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it, but it rattles. I'm also not doing a cold start on this bike because it's stock. And I think you guys have had enough from the last few videos of that. So yeah, getting that also, bought it, getting shipped. I got a ton of titanium uh, stuff. I just thought the titanium would look really cool with the tank right here because this tank you guys can tell like is brushed aluminum so I definitely want to keep that exposed because it's kind of like a signature look of the V4R and now the V4SP has it so I kind of wanted to keep that look and didn't want it to be the only thing that's kind of silver so I bought a bunch of like raw titanium parts are like pretty much silver titanium you know so I got oil cap right here in titanium i got kind of like i don't know what you call it but like that star looking ring that in titanium and the little lock thingy over here i don't know that right there that is going to be in black titanium so we're going to have silver and then black that's going to look really sick ideally in the future i do want carbon wheels but i haven't got them yet uh but maybe in the future that's definitely a possibility no Actually, we're not done with this side. Uh, there is, obviously you guys already saw the rear set. I got the carbon fiber heel guard. Uh, this already came with the bike. I did buy the performance uh, rear tire hugger. Uh, we're getting this piece right here. It's kind of like a, some engine cover in carbon. I already got this as well. This is gonna be in carbon matching this piece, which we recently put on. Uh, what else? I'm still waiting for the uh, new 2020 style belly because I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it has like more fins kind of like This right here, but in the bottom uh, For the new v4s and I think it looks really cool and it'll look really unique if I put that belly on this bike So that's what I'm waiting for as soon as they make that in carbon. I'm gonna buy that uh, We also put the carbon fiber ducts right here uh, Those are Honestly, I'm not racing this bike or anything crazy, so I don't need them, but they look cool, so why not, you know? We have grips on, which I put on like right when I got the bikes. We have this, like tank pad from Ducati Performance as well. Uh, this piece, which I really love. The OEM piece doesn't have the slits right here. It's just like plain. So I love these cuts and the glossy carbon kind of really goes with the front carbon face of this bike uh, I got these little kind of like stickers on here because 
So this kind of like stay holder, whatever you want to call it, it's like magnesium and it's in this weird color, which I personally don't like. And uh, I was gonna buy the carbon fiber piece, but then I know somebody that did that and they said that pretty much the whole front pretty much had to be disassembled because everything that kind of connects to that piece including the screen and all that stuff. So I was like, uh, that sounds like a lot of work. All that just to cover this little piece. So I just, they make these stickers. So I just did that for it. Of course, we have the double bubble windscreen. Got one mirror. I'm getting the other mirror on the other side so it matches. I needed one for legal reasons. You know, you were supposed to have one mirror when you ride. Uh, what else did I buy? I am gonna be getting this piece right here, this whole piece in carbon, this ignition kind of like holder right here is also going to be carbon. I already ordered that. I do need to get some uh, reservoirs because uh, these reservoirs are extremely ugly and uh, they just look cheap, you know, so, but they're out of stock. So I'm just waiting for them to come back to stock so I can buy them. Uh, what else? I do want to buy this uh, triple tree kind of like clamp. Uh, in like a black design, but the one I want is also sold out uh, So I guess I'm kind of waiting for that. I'm gonna buy this in titanium as well Speaking about titanium. I told you guys I bought a lot of titanium. So there's more I already have oh, let me actually show you I have a carbon fiber uh, Sprocket cover that goes kind of like right over this uh, That's gonna be carbon fiber and the bolts right here are titanium which I have these parts right over there I'm just waiting for the remaining that star thing and this hook safety thing whatever that is i'm waiting for those just like the other side also are going to be in silver and black titanium uh, i did get a swing arm cover with a little like titanium patch right here or pad patch what <laughs> so yeah i got that piece also got an entire custom tail piece you know that is going to be carbon fiber as well oh i did get this piece right here, the front uh, sprocket cover in carbon fiber. I got a cover for this in carbon fiber. Again, I don't like this color, so it's gonna be carbon fiber. I'm also gonna be getting this piece in carbon fiber because that's gonna look nice, but I'm doing this in glossy so it pops a little bit more. I don't know, I did get a POA F1 air filter. I mentioned that in the last video. I was like, oh shit, I forgot to do that. So I went home and ordered one so I can install it with the exhaust and tune the bike and it'll be making as much power as possible. I'm gonna be getting levers to carbon fiber is what I'm aiming for. But definitely some like fuel uh, tank cap. Usually on these bikes, let me show you guys. I get these real carbon fiber covers. I don't get the quick release just because I'm afraid that like when I go places, like, I don't know, I've heard rumors of like, if you leave your bike somewhere, anyone can open it and they can, if they put anything in your tank, they can ruin your bike pretty much. So I don't trust that, I don't know, I'm probably just a little paranoid. But uh, yeah, both of my bikes, as you see, have the OEM fuel caps just with carbon fiber kind of like on top of them. Uh, so it looks good, but at the same time it's safe because they can't get into it without a key. But I'm pretty sure I covered most things. Now I'm literally just waiting on parts every single day. It's such an exciting process, but also like you just want the bar so you can put them on and you know see how the bike looks and all that so i can take more videos for instagram and stuff like that and of course i'll do like a bike review when it's all complete and done uh yeah but that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe support as i said like 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed we already hit our goal for the year i wanted to get to 150k this year but uh we already passed that so let's aim for 180 maybe 180? I think we can definitely do 180. We're already at like 177. We definitely can do 180. Maybe 185 then? I don't know. That'll be a challenge. There's no way. I don't think we can get to 200. That's really far in like 10 days. Yeah, I doubt we can get 23k subs in 10 days, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be happy with 180 or 185. That works for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, support. Let me know what you think about the build and all that stuff. I want to know you guys' opinion, what you guys think I should do to the bike. Uh, I'm very opinionated. Like, I want my bike to be how I want it, but it's always too, you know, good to hear suggestions because I might be missing a thing or two, you know? And yeah, that's it for the most part. Thanks so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm uh, pretty sick and I'm pretty beat, so I couldn't ride today, but 
I got two more videos coming this week. I already did two. This is the third one, so two more coming. So hopefully I'll feel a little bit better tomorrow and I'll be able to write for you guys. Peace out, ride safe, and thank you all so much for the support.